these vast maize fields in Kiambu County, the green husks are bursting with fruit as silk teases the eye of the beholder. These two-acre-plus maize fields belong to Kiongo Wajugona, a sturdy man whose keen eyes glances over each and every maize plant with laser-sharp focus. Beleni wajua tulikuwa tunatumia mafertilizer aina aina nyingi lakini juzi na kukutana na hawa watu wali supply hii micro apply na nimeona utafauti ile imefanya kwa shamba langu e, mahindi ni kubwa imezaa mbili mbili na naona iko e, na tofauti kabisa Kiongo wa Jogona is your typical farmer he pours his heart and soul into this land so that it can bring returns to help him in his day-to-day -day life. But the horizon is not always clear. Just last year in 2019, many heartbreaking things happened that shattered the dreams and hopes of farmers like Yongo. For instance, a 2.3 billion loss in a fertilizer maize scandal, a 4.5 maize import scandal, the Ugali scare aflatoxin, peanuts for maize prices, and the list continues. The rising demand for a growing Kenyan population whose staple meals include maize has taken a toll on farms such as Kiongo's. His soil is not as fertile as it used to be. The soil moisture has decreased. The fertility has dipped dangerously low with nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, Kiongo can no longer rely on maize as a source of livelihood. He can barely get two maize cobs on a single plant as it is. This was in mid-2017. Today, Kiongo is singing a different tune. A tune of joy. Whereas his neighbors harvest 18 bags per acre, Kiongo is clocking at 30 bags per acre. His maize plants are growing stronger and looking healthier per second because of one little secret, mycorrhizal fungi. Tulikutana tu kwa mikutano na tukaanza na wakaniambia wakona hii fertilizer ya ina hii ya microapply na wakanipatia samples kidogo na niyo niliaza kutumia na kwa hii season nimeapply kama ikambili na naona ikona change, there's a difference. At first, Kiongo was nervous. Questions such as, what if it did not work, ran through his mind day and night. After weighing the pros and cons, Kiongo decided to go for it. The worst that could happen was failure. Failure in itself was simply a lesson learned. After all, it took 10,000 trials for Einstein to invent the light bulb. <laughs> Eh, kabla hujafanya kitu kuanza kitu naanza mwe na uh, tashwishi lakini nimeona sasa imefanya na ninafikiri tutaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja na hawa watu You've heard this word mycorrhizal throughout this fast part of today's climate smart show but what is it really Let's meet Olwens an agronomist at Kedaga and expert on all things mycorrhiza. Olwens met Kiongo wa Jogona during these hard times and introduced him to the concept of mycorrhizal. When you look at the majority of the farmers, the approaches they are using for farming, their day-to-day -day practices are not very friendly to the soil. We have exhausted our soil. The mycorrhiza is a fungi, it's a living thing. It's a living thing. The way it was discovered is by a scientist who was very passionate about the soil and the life in the soil. And he came across a, a sequoia tree. This is a tree native to America. This tree was more than 100 years old. And what amazed him is it was still continuing to grow and establish. He went to the roots. He asked himself first, what is making all this happen? And he told himself, I will find out. He went to the roots took the samples and took them to the lab. He studied them. What he found on the root is what is the key, the foundation of the, uh, the, the vegetation or agriculture as it is. 
is a very, very beneficial fungus we call the mycorrhiza. The mycorrhiza, it's, uh, it's beneficial to the plant. What it does is, like the product we have, has four species of mycorrhiza in them, four types. What the mycorrhiza does, it will attach itself to the root, forming an extension, a secondary rooting system. Yes, you heard that right. Since the beginning of time, a secret that was to be used in the ancient times now revealed. These microorganisms are, are meant to be natural uh, occurring. Naturally, they were created by, by God. But farmer practices have, have rendered these, uh, our soils very poor of microorganisms. Why? Because if we find like a, a, a normal farmer will apply pesticides, several rounds of pesticides in a season, herbicides in a season, over cultivation, yeah? and not taking care of the soil, not adding enough organic matter. You are killing these, these microorganisms. In many cases, we apply fertilizer, we apply nutrients, but because of the limitation of the rooting system, not all of these nutrients are being used. In fact, more than 60% of the nutrients are never used. They are leached to the ground, they are never accessed by the roots. They are, they are, they are volatilized, they are burned by the sun and they, like nitrogen, goes away. So you are losing money by losing this nutrient. The mycorrhiza will associate with over 95% of uh, vegetation, the plants we have uh, on the planet. We have some other types of mycorrhiza that will associate with some other, other types of crops. So if you're talking about horticulture, the micro, the micro apply endoprime will work with it. If you're talking about uh, your cereals, it will work with it. Applying the concept of mycorrhizal to a maize farm is very straightforward. It does not require an expert and can be even done by an aspiring farmer. Olwyn's colleague Silas is at hand to illustrate to us how. I have a bucket, a small bucket where we'll do the mixing. We need to have a measuring cup. Uh, of course, you have your seed, your seed, hybrid seed maize. Uh, you need to have a pair of scissors. This one you'll use in opening or cutting the packet uh, with microapply endoprime. You need to have a pair of gloves and, of course, microapply endoprime. First, you put on your gloves to protect yourself from. Uh, the product, you measure 40 ml of water and mix it with the product. So you use your measuring cup to do this uh, measurement. So what you do is I have uh, uh, my 40 ml of water here that will be able to treat uh, one kilogram of seed. So this is the water, 40 ml. Then you open your seed, have it ready. This is hybrid seed maize. Then use a pair of scissors. To open the product. You cut up here, like this. It's in powder form, so you pour it onto your solution, onto your 40 ml. Then you do the mixing. You can see it turns black in color. Make sure that none is left in the packet because these are spores. Remember, a gram contains uh, 22,500 pobajules, which is now the spores of the fungi. Then you mix it with your one kilo of seed. It is 40 ml of the solution. 
to treat one kilogram of seed. So I will just do this. As I do the mixing. By doing this, the spores are being absorbed by the seed of the maize. So you do this, you just mix it, mix it. until all the solution is absorbed. Lastly, you need a place where you can be able to uh, dry them. It should not be dried uh, directly under the sun. It should be kept in a shed that is uh, away from direct sunlight. Then you just spread over it like this. And your seeds will now be ready after 30 minutes of drying under shed. After these, the seeds are then planted and given the recommended routine crop practices to grow healthy and strong. Let's take a look with Olwens at the difference between a maize plant that has grown with the concept of mycorrhizal and one that has not. Let's compare a crop, the rooting system that was treated with mycorrhiza, mycoapply, endoprime here, and let's compare with this other rooting system that was not treated with the endoprime. First of all, look at the root mass here. The root mass here is significantly less, showing that this crop, this plant here, has a reduced potential to go into the soil, take the nutrients that are in the soil, hold water within the rooting system, and also the overall potential to yield of this crop is very limited. Let's compare with this one. The root hairs, they will spread to areas where where the normal plant root will not reach. They will collect the nutrients that are not close to the crop. It will keep water within the rooting system. And what you will see will translate into photosynthesis that will now be able to make your plant stronger, be able to yield the, the maize or the, the, the grains you are looking for. Even after trying to remove some of the soil attached to the root, Olwen faces no such luck. We're taking a short commercial break, but we'll be back with more.